if you had to choose your basketball fantasy team who are your ultimate starters nba nba Ooh. okay at point guard i got jackson byu is on the brink of its first season in the big 12. yes it what is. are your thoughts um i mean i'm excited yeah. knowing that the big 12 it's one of the best conferences for basketball yeah. Um, and football for sure. Um, so just going into the best conference, being able to play the best competition and compete, it's going to be really exciting. That's going to be awesome. So um, what are you doing right now to prepare for that first game against Cincinnati on January 6th? Um, just putting in the work, yeah. staying in the gym, um, helping my teammates however I can and vice versa. Um, everybody's super excited so just making sure that we're well prepared before the first game i love it i love it well and we're grateful that you're here today right yeah. we're at the byu creamery right filming some stuff so you're getting makeup done for that yeah. while we chat there's people in the background lots of shots going on lots so of stuff going it's, on yeah it's a fun day um but dallin hall one of your teammates when asked about being in the big 12 he said we believe we can do great things the rest is just noise mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on that do you agree or what would you say about that oh, I a hundred percent agree um i feel like there is a lot of outside noise just yeah. uh, a lot of uncertainty knowing like how we're going to do in the big 12 since our it's our first year yeah um but you know we don't pay attention to it um we just keep our heads down keep working stay in the gym and everything else take care of itself. I love it, I love it. Very, very, very good advice. And then as we're preparing and going into this season, is there one game that you're just like, I cannot wait there for is. this game? Okay, watch is it? There I'm is. so excited to hear. Uh, I'm ready to go back home to Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, lots of family and friends are gonna be at that game. So oh, I'm that'll excited. be awesome. Yeah. Okay, It'll very, very cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully you come out with a W, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you can... Of course. But that'll be so fun to have all your family there. Right, yeah. Yeah. No. So what has that transition been like? Oklahoma to Provo, Utah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been different, but I mean, I'm always like excited for new changes. Um, yeah. And this is obviously a big change for me. This is year two, but... Um, I mean, I love everybody here. Everybody treats me with kindness and respect, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Utah's great. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, right? Lots, lots of kindness going around. Right. Um, you're headed into your second year mm -hmm. with BYU. Um, and as a senior, you're a leader on the team. Right. What does that mean for you? And yeah, just what are your thoughts? Um, you know, it's a great role to have. Yeah. Um, it's something that I haven't been able to do since I've been in college. So it's an adjustment for me trying to learn, um, not only for myself, my teammates also. Um, but I mean, it's been a great experience thus far. I'm excited to keep going and start playing. Awesome, love it. Um, throughout your years playing basketball, you've probably received a lot of words of advice. Sure, you've had amazing coaches. What is that one piece of advice that has stuck with you the most that you're just like, this is this is the one thing I remember? Right. Um, I would probably say, even what Dallin said, just canceling out the noise and staying in the gym, working hard. Um, I think it applies to not only basketball, but for life in general. Um, yeah. Just making sure that you're keeping your head down and not worrying what other people have to say. Um, and I think that it's got me to where I'm at now. So I've heard it from a lot of people, obviously, but um, yeah. it's a great piece of advice. That's really cool. Love that. Love that. Um, I've heard many people refer to you as a positive force on your team. Have you always had this positive outlook or has that developed over the years? Uh, I think it's developed over the years, just yeah. the experience. Um, okay. Like you said, going into year four for me, so um, just the experience of playing over the years, it's, it's really helped me. Yeah, so what is this positive outlook? What are, your, what are your thoughts on being positive and how you've been able to make this kind of your way of life? Right, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs that come with playing basketball or any sport. Um, just making sure that you're staying in the moment and knowing what's coming next is what you need to focus on, staying in the present. Um, not focus on the past or the future. Um, that's something that I've really been working on, staying in the present, staying in the moment. Um, so I think that that helps a lot. So 
Yeah, well, and something we probably all need to do regardless, right? Right, right. <laughs> Just be a little bit more present. Right. I love that. Has basketball always been your number one sport? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? I, I haven't played any other sports. Um, I obviously did when I was, like, really young, small yeah. kid. Um but since high school, middle school, I've always just played basketball. Yeah, well, and I hear that you, um, basketball kind of runs in your family, right? Yeah. I mean, you've got your mom that's an All-American. Was it your aunt that played yes. in the WNBA, yes. right? So it's in your blood, no? Right. Yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. Um, it's always good to have, like, that extra motivation. Um, just yeah. knowing that, like, my mom and my aunt were so good. Um, yeah. Just trying to, like, follow in their footsteps and make my own way my own path yes. so i mean it's been good um getting the advice from them you know when i need it um they're always on my back about just making sure that i'm staying present staying in the moment and focusing on what i can control so yeah it's good to have them as mentors and motivators i love it i love it that's awesome um in your first season with byu you put up 61 three-pointers <laughs> Are you most comfortable? Is that your go-to shot? Uh, I would say so. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Okay. For okay. sure. Yeah. It's your go-to. Yeah. And um, are you? Are we making it 65 this year? What are your thoughts? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. We'll see. You feel most comfortable out of the key? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Okay. I would say so. All-time favorite moment on the court. Ooh. At BYU or just in general? I would just say in general. Like, what can you think of over the course of your career, right, that you're just like, that is the one thing that has stuck with me the most? It's a tough question. Um, I would say when I scored 50 points in eighth grade, that was a good experience. Yeah. That was super fun. Um, but team-wise, I would probably say winning Peach Jam in high school. Um when I was a junior. So okay. those are two, my two favorite moments for Your sure. Your two favorite moments. Tell yeah. me, like describe for those of us that are never gonna have that on-court experience, right? All of us, not all of us, a lot of us dream of being in the shoes you're in right now, mm -hmm. right? Just playing at this amazing level. Right. Tell us what are some of those feelings that you're experiencing as you're on the court in these amazing moments? Um, just trying to live in the moment. Um, like you said, not a lot of people get this opportunity. So yeah. making sure that I'm utilizing it and savoring every moment that I have, uh, whether that be with my teammates or my coaches, anybody. Um, don't want to take it for granted. Yeah. Just want to live in the moment. Yeah. Who's the person on the team that just is making everyone laugh all the time? Ooh. <laughs> so Anyone of, come to mind? A lot of jokesters on the team. Yeah. Um, I would probably either say Atiki Ali Atiki or Trey Stewart. Kay. One of the two. Okay. They're the ones that are always just. Yeah, they're life always the party. cracking jokes. Always. <laughs> Kay. Always. Okay. Love it. Love it. Um, if you had to choose your basketball fantasy team who are your ultimate starters nba nba Ooh. okay at point guard i got magic johnson okay shooting guard i'll take michael jordan okay small forward i'll take kobe bryant power forward i'll take lebron james and at my five i'll take Shaq. all right okay yeah. Old school. Yeah. <laughs> I love Old it. Old school. I love it. I love it. Um, who's your ultimate hero when it comes to basketball? I'm sorry? Who's your ultimate hero when it comes to basketball? Probably my aunt. Yeah. Probably my aunt, yeah. Um, just because I've always been around her and been able to, like, witness the things that she's done, even yeah. uh, as a coach. I mean, she's coached for a really long time at all the levels. Um, yeah. So just being able to see, like, her progression and her progress throughout the years um has been like really special to me yeah i love that i love that so if you had to choose i mean you put michael and kobe both on your team but which one michael or kobe i'm more of a fan of kobe but Kay. i think michael's better okay yeah. all right what are you yeah. why more of a fan of kobe uh just the mentality yeah. i like his mentality more than Michael Jordan's the Mamba mentality. Right, yeah, right. love it, right. love it. What sticks with you from that? Um, I would say there's a lot of things, but um, like just his way that he approaches the game. Michael yeah. Jordan also approaches the game really well. 
Um, and everybody talks about how competitive he was, but Kobe just had like that different type of mindset as far as having the advantage over his opponents and things like that. So yeah. um, just like taking that in, trying to apply it to my game. Love it. And put in the work, like you said at the right. very beginning, right? right? I think that's what he's most known for. Yeah. Putting in the time. I love it. Um, what do you like to do in the off season when basketball is not on your mind? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I would say basketball is always on my mind. <laughs> that's um, fair. That's fair. The off season is probably the time that you put in the most work. Okay. Um, just trying to stay ahead. Um, don't want to get behind. Yeah. Especially this last off season, I spent a lot of time in the gym just working. Um, knowing that we're going into the Big 12, playing better competition, um, and also stepping into that leadership role, just making sure that I'm prepared for what I need to do on the court this season. Um, so, I mean, other than that, <laughs> I'd probably just say hanging out with friends, yeah. finding moments just to, to hang out with them and chill, especially my teammates, building yeah. relationships, bonding. That's awesome. I love that. Um, let's say off season, you get to sit down to your favorite meal. No worries about what is included in said meal, right? Right. right. What is that? What does that look like? Ooh. I would probably say I love a good hibachi meal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. a great meal for me. That's um, fair. That's fair. That's always been like one of my favorites ever since I was a kid. So okay. I think that'd probably be it. Okay. Love uh, it. I love it. And I mean, we're here at the BYU Creamery, mm -hmm. right? They're right. <laughs> Legendary place <laughs> right. for all BYU fans, yeah. students, athletes, all the things. Um, what's your favorite thing from the BYU Creamery? Are you like ice cream all the way, chocolate milk, like what's cougar tail? What are you getting here? Probably the ice cream. Ice cream? Ice okay. cream, yeah. What's your, what's your flavor? What's your go-to? I'm plain Jane. I'll go with vanilla. Yeah? Vanilla. Okay, yeah. all right. Fair I'm enough. I'm a vanilla guy. A vanilla guy. I love it. Yep. I love it. Awesome. Well, Jackson, we wish you and your team all the luck as you're leading in to your free season with the Big 12 Thank come you. January. But luck that I don't think you're going to need. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And then... Um, as we're closing out here, any pieces of advice or piece of advice that you would share with any of those BYU fans, maybe even just Jackson fans out there that are looking up to you when it comes to playing the game of basketball? Um, like I touched on earlier, just staying in the gym, um, the work takes care of itself. Um, I know at one point I didn't know where I was going to go with this either, to be honest with you, um, just a couple years ago. So yeah. I was a kid back home in Ada, Oklahoma, putting up shots in the gym, uh, questioning if I was going to be a college athlete or not. And here yeah. I am. So just staying consistent with your work and making sure that you're putting in the extra effort that nobody else is can take you a long way. I love it. Love it. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. And best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.